Uh, good morning, my name's Ian Atherton. and I'm the Group Training Manager for Knox Group in CFA. Um, we're here this morning at what we've called MassAd 14, which is our multi-agency specialist appliance display. It's the third display that we've run. We ran our previous two displays in 2012-2010. Uh, this morning, we've got a range of agencies here supporting us. Uh, CFA itself, MFB, SES, Victoria Police, uh, DSC, DEPI. We've got the Australian Volunteer Coast Guard, National Safety Agency, uh, St John's. And we've also got Tom Car Defence Australia who have uh, brought in some all-terrain vehicles for us to have a look this morning. Um, the aim of the day is really just to provide the agencies with an opportunity to get together, have a look at a whole lot of new developments they've got in their appliances. Um, I know a lot of brigades, a lot of agencies are working on new builds at the moment and this is the perfect opportunity for them to come in, have a look at what other agencies have produced in their trucks. It's also probably the best networking opportunity that uh, you'll get to actually uh, get in, have a chat with the other agency personnel. Um, this year's support's been fantastic. Fire Services Commissioner's Office has backed this all the way. Uh, all of the exec levels of the agencies are uh, fully supporting. And uh, this morning we've got just uh, in between probably 60, 70 appliances here, all specialist in nature. Uh, a lot of gear, including an unmanned aerial vehicle from the MFB. This uh, event is actually publicised statewide. Uh, it goes out through our agency networks. Uh, it's it's for emergency service personnel and their families to come along and, uh, and have a look. Uh, in that way, it's, it's really kept in the family. Uh, there is a view to maybe taking this to a public event in 2016 where we also incorporate a trade show. Um, if that's the case, bigger venue. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll certainly uh, have discussions uh, with Fire Services Commissioner and all the agency heads about making this event bigger. Uh, this is the third time, it's bigger than the first and second and I expect our next one will be bigger again. So, uh, very proud of the way we put this together, uh, really proud of the support we get from all the agencies and uh, everybody who's turned up today, I think it's got massive, uh, massive benefit from it. So this event, uh, it's, it's essentially uh, two years in the planning. Uh, we went into detail planning about nine months ago when we set the date and started uh, surveying all the agencies just to uh, I guess gauge their commit, ongoing commitment to it. Uh, no surprise, everyone was fully committed. Um, picking a, a day nine months in advance is always a gamble with weather, but we've been very lucky today. 25 and sunny, we couldn't have asked for any more. Uh, we run the event with a 12 person event team, uh, all from Knox. Um, we obviously get great support from our key contacts and all the other agencies in terms of gathering up all their appliances. I'd like to pay particular thanks to Knox Council. Uh, they're incredibly supportive of this event. Uh, they work with us every step of the way. They're responsible for uh, a lot of the facilities here. Uh, they've been nothing but uh, help. Uh, obviously, we've got coffee on site all day, which is fantastic for all the patrons that have come through, uh, provided by District 13. Uh, that's also fantastic. Uh, our senior competition running team is here, selling, uh, selling food and drinks as a way of raising funds for their competition expenses and to buy some new gear. Their hoses are nearly 20 years old, so they need to get some new gear. Um, all in all, uh, having a fantastic time. I think everybody here have, is having a fantastic time. So on that note, uh, I'll sign off and say I look forward to seeing you all in 2016 and you'll hear plenty about it prior to the event. Thanks very much.